Hi guys and gals, this is Radar Roy, and we're out here at CES at the 2009 Electronics Show here in Las Vegas. And I got a good friend of mine from Belltronics, Everett Morris. Everett, great to see you, man. You too, right? Um, it's probably great for you to be out of the cold weather up there in Buffalo right now. It's a wonderful thing. And a lot of record snow this year. Um, we're out here, you know, of course, in Las Vegas. And, you know, Everett and I, you know, have been friends for many years. You know, Everett, you know, what's happening at Bell and Escort? Anything you can share? Anything exciting coming down the pike? The big thing for us right now is what I would call intelligent detectors. And that specifically is refer referring to GPS functionality being incorporated into, in the Beltronic side, the GX65. Uh, it provides you with some features and some options that make driving with a detector a more enjoyable experience than it's ever been. Several things to think of. Number one, it comes with a red light camera database and it also comes with a fixed photo radar database. These two uh, law enforcement tools are growing at an incredible rate throughout the states and they're growing as the states look for new ways to find additional revenue. Uh, recently in the Phoenix area, I think specifically at Scottsdale, on a stretch of the northern loop around the city, they have incorporated 10 fixed photo radar cameras in, I believe it's a 15 mile route. And you have the potential, going with the flow of traffic, to work some morning. You could be going with the flow of traffic at 65 miles an hour, and I believe the speed limit there is 55. And if 64 is the preset for those photo radar cameras that day, in a stretch of 15 miles or 12 minutes, 13 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever the number is, you could accumulate 10 tickets and $2,200 plus worth of fines and not know it for two or three days. Uh, to me, that's not so much about traffic enforcement as it is about revenue generation. I would like to know that those cameras are there so that I could modify my speed if necessary. Everett, you know, I, I live out in the Phoenix area, and it's so true, I got the GX65 in, in my vehicle, and uh, I remember it was, it was just after they were installed, and I got on the I-10 and I was taking a trip down to the Sky Harbor Airport, and you know that was probably about a 20 mile stretch. And there were 10 cameras in that 20 mile stretch. And I don't make that trip often. And I was totally unaware that they had set these up. And thank goodness that morning I had the GX65. It's, it's up there. And the thing's alerting, alerting, alerting. You know, I figured, okay, they got one of these out here. But next two, three miles next. And it was just like 14 of these. <laughs> and it's just, it's just absurd how many of these are going up around the Phoenix area. And I don't think it's only the Phoenix area because Redflex is the company uh, that's developed this uh, speed enforcement camera uh, system. And it really doesn't cost the cities or counties any money whatsoever uh, to participate. Um, they come in and they install the equipment and they give a percentage back to the city or state. And as ever saying, this is such a big revenue generating source, um, you know, especially in today's economy. You know, all these cities and states are looking up to make money. And unfortunately, they're putting it on the backs of us, the drivers, uh, or, you know, driving on the highways. And I, I, there's such a big influx of this. And, you know, I, I'm so glad you guys, you know, have a product, and it works. It and does work. It works extremely well. And one of the other things that is very nice about having the GPS or intelligent technology in the product Historically, with radar detectors, the single biggest complaint has been my detector goes beep when there's no police around. And through the years, most drivers have come to know that these quote unquote false alerts are usually from sources such as electronic door openers. And with the GX65, you have the ability when you encounter one of these quote-unquote false signals 
you have the ability to mark that location, to store it, and then to lock it out so that as you drive by that location in the future, your detector will no longer give the beep that is so annoying to some. Police, oftentimes, knowing that that signal is there and knowing that many motorists will not react to their detector going off on that location, will oftentimes set up next to the convenience store. Mm -hmm. One of the nice things about the GX65 is, yes, it has locked out that door opener signal, but at the same time, if a police car sets up there, it's going to recognize that there is a second and slightly different signal and will override the alert of the store or the lockout of the store and will alert to the different signal, which is the police car. Intelligent detector. And I would say, driving with this detector, and I've been riding with it now for probably four months, is the most enjoyable radar driving experience I've ever had. <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed through the years driving with a variety of different people and radar detectors in the car, women can't stand radar detectors that fault. I can't tell you the number mm -hmm. of cars that I've been in where if the woman's driving, the radar detector, oftentimes in the car, is turned off. And I'll ask why. Because it goes beep all the time and I can't stand the noise. And that's, that's so true with my wife. You know, I, I've been in the industry all these years. You know, and my wife had the privilege of probably having some of the best radar detectors available for free. And, you know, they were usually turned off. But, you know, once you, you know, the uh, intelligent radar detectors, your GX65, it's now on because you know she's able to lock out those common locations, and uh, you know, and, and now it's something my wife uses. So, and, uh, 